What does Indutis wear for a swimsuit competition? I doubt I'd have time for swimming in the White House. No, seriously, I I'm blind, dude. The winner of the swimsuit competition challenge is... Garfield Leonard Lobster from Maine! Get him, Gene Lennon, get him! Dozens have auditioned. Seven have made it this far. But only one of them will be going home tonight. Which one of these contestants will be America's next president? You can pick a lot worse a candidate. I've never been a very tactful person. Did I say you were my friend? We're all God's children. I'm ready to get this political party started. There are a lot of folks unhappy in this nation. Interns, candidates, doesn't matter. Who makes you think I'm gay? Oh my god. I'm running because God told me to do so. It's elimination night tonight, and tensions backstage are at an all time high. Darcy, Darcy, will, will you please stop? Look, there is absolutely no way I'm going to be able to get you here for Spouse's Day. Of course I spoke to the lawyer. Look, I don't own the judge. It's... I'm sort of ridden from time to time. Oh, I've got to go. <laughs> Your wife? Uh, yeah, yeah. I hope she's feeling better. Um, yeah, so do I. Um, what about you? How's your daughter doing? Have you heard from her? Daughter? Yeah, your daughter. I don't have a daughter. You mean Crystal? Uh-huh. Yeah. Crystal's my wife. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Babe. Eddie just said the darndest thing to me. America, the votes have been counted. And now it's time to find out which of the candidates' campaigns are about to come to an end. Garfield Leonard, you won the last challenge. You've got diplomatic immunity. You're safe. Paula McDonald of California. You're safe. Elizabeth Snyder. I'm sorry, you're up for elimination. Honestly, I can't say I'm that surprised. Reverend Thomas Matthews. You are safe. Thank you, Jesus! Oh, boy! I knew it! Richard Lee of Tennessee. You are also safe. Robert Gage of New Hampshire. I'm sorry, Robert. You're also up for elimination. Which obviously means that Edward Tempest V, you are also safe. Please join the others. Two candidates up for elimination. Only one of you can extend your campaign into next week. Judges, it's time for you to make your choice. Which one of these two will not be America's next president? Judges? You've made your decisions? Yes, we have. On the count of three, I want you all to show us the name you've written. One, two, three. Libby, I'm so sorry. The judges have voted to eliminate you. Robert, please join the others. Libby, your campaign ends now. Now it's time for you to make your concession speech. This, this fiasco demonstrates just how ridiculous our election system has become in this country. Nobody wants to hear honest solutions to our problems. No one wants to learn about ways to fix things. It's all about appearance and trivia. I don't 
all I have to say is that if this is what we've been reduced to, America deserves the next president it ends up with. Elizabeth Snyder of Illinois. Everyone. Six candidates coming out of tonight's show victorious. But don't get too confident, there's only one Oval Office. Next week we'll bring new challenges and another elimination. So join us here next week when we find out who will be America's next president. Yeah, you can really see it. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> That's the one in the dairy there. Okay. It's a friggin' pair of socks in a that, mankini I don't, over a lobster costume. I don't care. I have like four layers on. I don't care. Here. <laughs> That's not the socks. <laughs>